Hey, I'm Seth. And I'm Tyler. We're here today to show you our Bubble Soccer MATLAB game that we created. Alright. Alright. So, here's our game right here. It has three main functions towards it. One is the GUI component that Seth worked on. Another is a gameplay component that has basically all the physics and functionality and modules of our game. And then a third one is our computer module and this just um, has the position of the computer and all that. Alright, so we're going to select our GUI file and run it and show you the window that pops up. Alright, so here is our GUI that we created, our game file. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the scoreboard and we're going to initialize the our team name. And then we're going to initialize the computer team name. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna either choose if we wanna use the arrow the arrow keys or the mouse. Um, it looks like Seth is gonna select the arrow keys to first show off. As you can see, the clock is a five minute running clock. That means this clock is gonna count down from five to zero and the game will end when we hit five minutes. So then we're gonna hit the start, start game or start function, start button. As you can see, our game is moving and we have our computer running around and whenever you hit the keys it moves and as you notice the mouse key does not work right now because I chose the arrow key we have coded in our game where if you choose the arrow key it only does the arrows and the mouse only does the mouse to make the game more fair so now I'm just going around and I'm playing the computer right now the computer is designed to go after the ball whenever it is anywhere on the playing field except for the user's box. There you go. As you can see there, uh, we had the goalies uh, sit there and if it's ever a direct hit on the goalie, it switches the direction of the ball, just like a soccer game is. If you hit it in the center of the goal, it is usually stopped, while well, if you hit the side of the goal, it's more of a uh, chance that it's gonna be scored. And as you can see, the computer and as well as the player can score. All right, and then let's close out of that. And we're gonna end early because it's we're going to end it. And there we so go. We and because the computer score was up 2-1, to one, it ends the game there and says that the computer won. But no one really in a game would want to end it early unless you have to leave or something. So the game will end when the clock hits the zero. All right. And then we're going to end that. And then we're going to run the function again. And we're going to choose the mouse controls to show you the difference. Now the first thing that you can do, as you can see, is that the computer is moving a lot faster this is because when we use the mouse functions, it's a lot easier to move around the move around faster. And so when we do that, we decided to make the computer a little bit harder because it was too easy with how slow the computer was originally. Um, as you can see, both players can easily score. It's a pretty fair game, and it's also difficult at the same time. As well as we didn't do it this time, but you could also reset your team names and also the computer's team name if you wish. And then another thing that you can see on this game is we included a pause function into our game. So if I go ahead and press pause, then notice how it stops and you're not able to touch the ball. Nothing moves and the clock stops. Now, if you press pause off, the clock will re the game not only restart, but the clock will also reset back to its original value. That's because in soccer, if you have an injury, the clock doesn't stop. It keeps running. So our running clock is incorporating like soccer where it doesn't stop for any injuries. So if you want to pause the game, it's, well, it's, to your advantage, it's not to your advantage because then the game would, clock would run out. All right, and I think that's all we have to show you for this game. You could hit pause on and then end the function. You got to hit pause on. Or pause off, I'm sorry. And then we ended the game. And now we're just going to go ahead and show you what all our, how long our GUI is and all of this. But it is all in the report, everything that we did and how we cited it all, so this is all that it really is. Three functions. We changed a lot from our original and see our report for how we are able to do all this. It really is all in there. We're just kind of showing the basics of our game. Alright, thank you.